Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part three video on ASP.NET Core Identity Series. So in this video, we are going to work on sending two-factor authentication code to our email, means user email. So let's have a quick look at our current login process. So if I click on login, and if I entered valid username and password, I'm able to log into the application. Now I want to enable the two factor authentication, means one more layer of protection, means after user entering correct email address and password. Instead of directly authenticating the user, we are going to display one more authentication page, like some OTP page. Okay, so when user entered valid username and password, we are going to display the two-factor authentication page, where we are going to display a test box. In the test box, user need to enter the secured code. That secured code we are going to send to the registered e user email address. Okay. If the user entered correct two factor authentication code, then we are going to allow him to authenticate into our application. Okay. So by default, ASP.NET Core application supports this two factor authentication. So to send or to enable the two factor authentication, Okay, for an email, the main thing is if you go to our database to enable two factor authentication for an email, the main thing is the email column should contain email address that is mandatory and email must be confirmed. And there is one more column that is two factor enabled. This must be true. Okay, so let me update it. Okay. Since here only one co one record in the table, right? So I am directly updating. Okay. So if I execute again query, now two factor authentication is enabled. So now let's check the login flow again. Okay. Okay, now here you can see the two factor authentication page and there is a text field. It expecting some secured code. Okay. Once user enter that secured code, then only user get authenticated. Okay, so everything is already predefined by default with the ASP.NET Core identity. Only thing we have to do is we have to generate the code and that code must be sent to the user email address. And also after user entering that code, we have to validate right? that validation logic also we have to add. So let's go to this two factor authentication page. So it is available at in our areas folder, okay, in identity pages. So here there is a login two factor authentication. So this is our HTML and this is our, our CS model page, Razor page, okay. So here on get a sync, if you see, this is the existing logic. So here, if you see, there is a method like to get two factor authentication user async. So this method is helps to retrieve the user information because how it will this method get means when this page is coming once user entered valid email address and password right so at that time if the two factor authentication enabled and email is confirmed and email exists then this page is loading right so in the login logic itself so let's go to login logic. 
so login dot cshtml so here if you go to post method if if password signing result get two factor authentication we are redirecting to this page but whenever this two factor is returning right inside of it it will create a cookie okay so if i inspect element and go to application and cookies here you can see two factor id user id so this cookie is created here when uh, two factor authentication is enabled so using that cookie information here we are able to get the valid user information okay so this cookie is created for when we enable the two factor authentication so using that cookie here it is able to get the user information so now here i want to add a logic in this on get async method like generating some secured code and that secured code must be sent to the user okay so first thing is uh, we have to get the valid two factor providers okay so valid two factor provider so for that there is a default identity method itself okay let's use that one so where providers equal to await so here i think i async manager is already injected so i am going to use that one i sign in manager dot not sign in manager i think it should be user manager sorry it should be user manager okay user manager dot get valid two factor providers async okay so to this two factor provider async we should pass our user information okay so it's going to give the collection of strings so what it will do means if to if email is enabled for the user then email just string will come if phone number is also enabled for two factor authentication phone number also will come okay if this two factor is not enabled or email is not confirmed then email won't come okay so here we are checking whether two factor authentication for that email is enabled or not okay if it is enabled we are going to get a uh, collection of string in that we should contain a uh, provider like email okay next what i will do i will check if the provider of email exists or not okay okay If the provider is email, then I want to generate the token. So to generate the token also, there is a default ASP.NET Core identity uh, method. So token, token is here nothing but a secured code, some secured password number like OTP. Okay. So await user manager dot. Okay generate two factor token async okay to this we have to pass two parameters like user information comma type of provider we know it is already a email type right this string i have to pass here okay so if only default providers whatever we get in this collection those names only here you should pass if you pass empty or some random test it won't work okay it only works for providers like email phone number etc default supported by the uh, our asp.net core identity okay now it will give me the gives me the code okay so now i want to send the this token to my email address so in previously we have already implemented the email sending process for our uh, registration email confirmation right 
that means email sending logic is already exist so email center service here our logic is already exist so what i am going to do i am going to use the this email sender service in my two factor authentication file as well so let me inject that file first okay let's import the namespace okay here mail sender okay email sender okay that's about uh, generating the code and sending the code now i have to write the code for sending so await email sender dot send email async and it is expecting user email so we have a user object type user dot email address i am going to pass next subject so email to fa code to factor authentication code okay and next i have to pass the html code okay so to this html code we are going to add our code i am going to add simple h1 tag okay and here let me pass the token okay that is my email body okay that is my logic so we are done with on get async method so here we are checking the provider and if email provider exists we are going to send it okay so next so on user submitting we have to validate it also right so what i will do here everything will be common only one thing we have to change here that is this logic okay so here where result equal to await sign in manager dot two factor sign in async okay here provider is email okay and the code here is the authentication code it is already reading okay next persistent and remember client i can copy from the above line okay these two parameters i will pass here okay because this two factor authentication signing won't uh, validating our email okay that is why we should use this two factor sign in async okay okay so that's it uh, let me add debuggers so that i can show you the code okay here i want a debugger and here on submitting i want a debugger okay let's stop the existing code okay now let me run okay let's log in give the valid credentials so that we can see the two factor page okay i got debugging so if you see this provider it is a collection and it contains email okay if you want you can check so what you can do either you can disable two factor or you can email confirmation is there right that also you can remove if you remove that one sorry please leave two factor enable and remove email confirmation to zero then you will see it won't come here okay email won't come here so only a confirmed providers only you will get as a collection in this 
provide as collection okay so now i am getting collection so let me go to next line so here i am trying to get the token right let's see whether i am getting the token or not see some code so this code we are going to send it to the email okay so i am i entered into the two factor page now let me check my email see here this is my two factor code so let me copy this code and enter here and try to log in so here also we added debugger right so let's check and here you can see success message that means two factor success let's continue the debug and if you see i am successfully logged in means i have added extra layer of protection in the form of two factor authentication okay so in this video we send our two factor authentication code to email right so next video we try to set up and send the two factor code to phone number okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and please don't forget to like the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off